Hey, so what's going on guys? So I just want to share with you guys an encouraging word that the Lord has just been kind of teaching me. And it's awesome the way that the Lord teaches me certain things in life and shows me uh, an encouraging word just through, you know, the mistakes I make in life and some of the circumstances that I go through, everyday life situations, and He'll just speak to me through, you know, different metaphors or parables or images and just uh, different hap uh, circumstances. And so uh, this is what happened to me you know, in one particular instance several weeks ago where I was just driving my car and I drive this car where it's it's a hybrid electric vehicle, right? And so it takes fuel, gas, and then it also can run on battery. And it's a plug-in electric vehicle where you have to charge your car. And so, you know, uh, if you have a, you know, a wall charger or whatever it is, you charge your car and you can run it fully on battery and you can also run it fully just on gas or you can have a mixture of the two where you can have, you know, 50, 60 miles per gallon or whatever it is. And so the car I have is a pretty, you know, nice car. I use it for business. I use it to rent out to people and I have different purposes for this car that I use. But on uh, other instances, I, I can use it for my own. And so, you know, with this particular car, I have a garage at home and I have my own personal charger that I use and I just plug it in to charge. And, and on one particular, you know, instance, I was you know, driving home one day and I remember just coming home from doing a bunch of errands and I had a bunch of bags and just different, you know, things that I had with me that I had to take inside. And so in the process of that, I was get, gathering all my stuff. I was putting it all together and I was just rushing inside because I remember, you know, I think I had something that evening, a call or whatever that I had to take. Um, but regardless, I, wa I ran in and just had all my stuff, but I forgot to charge my car and I didn't realize that until the next morning when I had to, after I got ready and you know whatever I had to do, I came out and basically whenever I go somewhere, I basically get there either just in the nick of time or just slightly early. I never really go somewhere super early. And so on that particular uh, day, I had to be somewhere by a certain time and I remember coming out uh, looking at my side charger and realizing that I didn't charge the car overnight and so immediately I thought oh no like I don't have you know any battery that's okay I may have some gas to let me uh, to take me through to wherever I have to go and so I walk in turn the car on and I realized that I don't even have gas meaning that I was in the red and it was barely empty and so I realized oh man I have to stop by the gas station and I have to go fill up and that's gonna throw off my schedule, it's gonna throw off my you know, whole timing and I'm gonna be late to wherever I had to be. And I remember just driving that day and just even in the subsequent days to follow, just thinking to myself, man, why did I forget to charge myself? Why did I forget to do what I normally do every single day and where I can save you know, on gas, I don't wanna pay for gas, the charging is free in this building and I just wanted to rely on battery and so I was just thinking that for a brief moment and I remember the Lord just reminding me that just like how you forgot to charge your car there are so many people that forget to charge themselves spiritually with me and if you think about what that means God desires and yearns for people to have a relationship with him and just like this car that needs gas it needs fuel you and me need fuel, we need gas, and that comes from an intimate relationship with the Lord where you are studying the scriptures, you're having your devotionals, you're having your quiet times, you're intimate in prayer. And God was just reminding me, so many people just need one charge, one little touch with me just to get them going. And so many people, they forget every single morning. They're so distracted by the baggage and, and the different uh, distractions in the world. And they're just looking left, they're looking right, they're holding all these things. And all they had to do was grab that handle, uh, plug it into their car, plug it into themselves, into their heart and charge themselves so that they can get to wherever they needed to go but with the right energy, with a full fullness, with the wisdom, with the insight, with the strength and with without anxiety that you can get through that day, that you can get to where you got to go, that you can speak to what you've got to say and have all that uh, backed by the Holy Spirit with the Lord, with the filling of the Holy Spirit in you. And that's what the Lord was reminding me because as much as you think you don't need fuel, that's like you saying, I don't need the Holy Spirit. I don't need God's guidance. I don't need these things. And so many of us are just running on fumes. We're running on empty. We're running with the, the, um, the, 
fuel indicator on red and we don't even realize that we need that intimacy that charge and that desire and that in that relationship with the lord and, and god is just sitting there his he's even holding that that you know charger out to you and just asking you to embrace that just to take it and just to plug it in just for a little bit and some people just need one charge even one devotional one bible study is going to get you filled to such a degree that it's going to encourage you and of course god would want you to do this on a daily basis but some of us have forgotten just to even go to church they uh, forgot to even watch a sunday service if you guys are at home you forgot to do that quiet time that that devotional that very day and you don't even realize it but it's throwing off your entire day it's causing you to have anxiety it's causing you to a move left and right instead of going straight on this road and you're running your car on an inefficient ineffective way you're dragging your tires you have um, uh, you're basically pulling or pushing your car in, in in manual and you don't even realize that spiritually that you need to have you know what would be just an intimacy with the Lord and so just want to encourage you guys with this because if you are in a place where you're struggling with doing your devotionals if you're on a, in a place where you are struggling to have intimacy with the lord i would encourage you just to start simply start in the morning if you can i've for a very long time have done quiet times even in the last two three years i've rarely missed a day every morning i get up and i say father i cannot do anything without you first i get up I flip over on my knees and I get on my knees and I pray and I have such an urgency and I have such a desire to make sure that I am charged first and foremost with the Lord and we need to have that sense of urgency. We need to have that um, uh, illustration of the fact that this car won't move without you uh, being charged, without you having that moment and that desire and that intimacy with the Lord. And so if you are struggling with that, and if you are not a morning person, if you're an evening person, even if you do that at night, it's going to help you tremendously. Even if you read one verse, even if you read a couple of you know chapters, whatever amount that you are normally used to and that you want to do, start with that. And if you can pray, pray you know five ten minutes, pray a few minutes. I have several videos that I have up already now that are devotional with me videos and maybe you can if you'd like you can play those things to help yourselves out but the point being that we cannot get it anywhere without you being charged without you having an intimate relationship and a desire to be rooted in scripture and so that's what psalm says right so those who are planted by streams of water and you need to be in that water the water and the um uh, the the Holy Spirit and with God just being at that center and abiding in him and, and being with them so I want to encourage you guys with that hopefully this has helped but um, uh, yeah so we'll pray for you guys love you guys and until next time I'll talk to you guys soon